Hello friends, welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today I'll be showing you how to make South India's famous idli. It's a problem of many people that their idlis don't come out soft. I would say it needs little planning to get soft idlis at home. So let's see what all tips I can give you to make soft idlis and let's see the ingredients. 3 cups of rice. You can take boiled rice or you can take normal rice. 1 cup of black ground dal or urad dal. 1 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. Salt to taste. Let's start with the recipe now. I have combined uh, rice and fenugreek seeds together and has soaked it for about 5 to 6 hours. Even I soaked black ground dal in sufficient water for 5 to 6 hours. Now I will drain out the excess water from this and then I will grind it. I have drained out all the water from rice and dal. The first tip to get soft idlis I would say the proportion of the rice and dal, 3 as to 1. I always take 3 cups of rice for 1 cup of dal. And now I put it in the blender, half of the rice in the blender. And half dal. I usually mix dal and rice together and then blend it. It will help dal to blend finely. And you need some water for grinding. So I will add some water. About half a cup. And let's start grinding. <laughs> is ready. We should feel some granules in this batter. That means the batter is perfect for idlis. Now let's take it out. Now we grind second batch. Remaining of half of the rice. We have some water at the bottom, so I have added that water. And the rest of the dal. Now this batter is ready. Now I will let it ferment overnight. The second tip to get soft idlis is we need to give sufficient time for the batter to ferment. After overnight fermentation you can see the batter has risen up. This rising of the batter depends on the weather conditions as well. In summer it rises more, in winter you will not see this much. Now we will add salt according to our taste. The consistency of the batter also matters to get soft idlis. 
this consistency is right. We do not want more watery consistency. Now this batter is ready. Now it's time to steam our idlis. I have this idli cooker. It's very old model. I'm using it for five, 15 years now. It has five plates like this. Each has four molds. So it can make 20 idlis at a time. I have filled this idli cooker with water. The water level should be little down from the lower plate of the idli cooker. It should not touch to the plates. Now I will keep it in the high flame for preheating. We need to grease this idli mold with oil just one or two drops of oil and fill mold with batter You should leave some space for idlis to rise further. You can tap it later and transfer this to your idli cooker. Like this you can do rest of the molds as well. Now all the molds are in idli cooker. Now you need to cover it and steam the idlis exactly for 20 minutes. It's been 15 minutes now. Let's check the idlis. It looks done. Let's check it with the fork. Fork came out clean. That means the idlis are done. Maybe one or two minutes more. After two minutes, switch off the stove and let the idlis cool down. Now after five minutes, take out trays one by one. Let the idlis cool down before removing it from the tray. Now the idlis are cold. Now let's take it out from the tray. You can use spoon. See how it, easy it is coming out. You can see the idlis are so soft. You can see we got soft idlis. Now these soft idlis are ready. You can serve these idlis with sambar and coconut chutneys.
you can find recipes for sambar and coconut chutney in my previous videos you can serve these idlis in many ways you can serve it with sambar or chutney or you can just uh, fry it with some spices and eat spicy idli sometimes i eat it with just uh, tomato ketchup that way also it's very nice thanks for watching this recipe for more recipes keep on visiting world of recipes thank you